Hey guys, in this video I'd like to showcase the Birkenstock Router Hiker Sneaker that was made in collaboration with Rick Owens for Spring Summer 2019 collection. So to start the video I'd like to go over some of the themes that were present in Rick's collection for 2019. This season was entitled Babel for the Spring Summer. Um, the main influences for this collection would be constructivism, the idea of the Tower of Babel, and uh, general resilience and coming together of a community. So the Tower of Babel, for those that you don't know, is in reference to a great structure that was made in a biblical story um, for people trying to reach God. But God was unhappy about this, so what he did was he created languages, which caused great disbursement amongst people and the, the tower was never finished. So Rick took this in conjunction with Tatlin's Tower, which was uh, somewhat of what was intended to be a constructivist icon for the USSR, which never got built as well, and used these as its main inspiration. Um, this is important also because Paris is home to the Eiffel Tower, which was essentially what Tatlin was attempting to create with his tower, marking the start of the modern age. I'll link um, Bliss Foster's video in the description. He does a great job covering this season in particular, especially the women's, but the same themes come over to the men's collection as well. So I'll start showing the shoes by doing somewhat of a mock unboxing. I've had these for a while, but I'd like to show you just kind of the packaging these guys come in. So they come in this giant box, um, similar to a lot of Rick boxes where they're pretty big. These actually are just big sneakers in general, so it kind of makes sense that they fit in here. So the box slides out like this, and then each of the shoes come in their own little branded dust bag that um, nobody ends up using for anything. These just sit in the box and I don't do anything with them, but it's still a nice touch. So I'll just take one shoe off for now, and the tongue is stuck. <laughs> All right. Let me put the box away. So here is the sneaker. Um, it is very reminiscent of the Rick Guns Geo Basket. Um, essentially what Rick took was a silhouette that Birkenstock has, which is the uh, hiking sneaker they created and also elements of uh, the Rotterdam edition of different sandals which is this strap and buckle detail with a Velcro front. And then he kind of just added the Rick branding, which would be this GeoBask tongue with on the inside, the classic Rick little uh, image of him with the heels. Uh, the colors are inverted for this season. Um, I don't know if he did it for any other seasons, but I know for spring, summer 19, uh, he inverted the colors for some reason just messing around with the branding, I guess. Kind of changes it up every once in a while. Um, some cool details about this, of course, are the buckle closure on the top. This is great, because then you don't really have to lace it up the shoe a bunch. You kind of just adjust it your first time with this Velcro area, and then um, you're set for a while. There's this Velcro strap in the front. I don't really ever close or open this. Um, it doesn't really do anything to fasten your foot into the shoe. Uh, the tongue pops out like this uh, to allow you to get into the shoe easier. You could also kind of wear the shoe like this if you wanted, if you were going for like a smaller size. These I kind of have to put them in, but I prefer that way anyways, because most of the time I just cover the tongue. Um, it's like a cool thing to have, but in the end, uh, I just uh, don't have a, a lot of pants that work well with the tongue. It ends up kind of just looking janky. So for the most part, I just wear like the big pants and such. Uh, on the inside, a great addition that makes this shoe super comfortable is a cork insole. I didn't know this had this. It's a great little touch. It makes this shoe a lot more comfortable. Um, it makes it pretty decent for walking, actually. Um, on the bottom is a clear lug sole. This is in conjunction with some of the other pieces that Rick did this collection with the clear sole, Ramones, Geo Baskets, uh, and a bunch of other shoes. It's just tying again more into that season with Birkenstock branding on the bottom. I heel tap these. I would suggest you do that if you buy these. The heel started wearing down very fast. Um, I think it's also just because the shoe is very heavy. 
So I kind of drag my feet a bit. Um, so I would suggest you get a heel tap. It's gonna save you the heels. And I normally Birkenstocks are very repairable, but since this isn't really a very common model, and since it's a clear sole and not really like a, a thing that I think Birkenstock does consistently, I would suggest you get a heel tap just because I don't know how easy it's gonna be to replace this sole in the future. And the final thing I'd say about the shoe is just uh, it has a, I believe calf upper or it's just a leather upper um pretty decent quality it's like good leather and it's worn in pretty good so far um some things i'd also say that surprised me on the shoe were first the buckle being actually metal um in a lot of the product descri descriptions for the shoe is actually saying that it was plastic so surprised when i got it and it's actually a metal buckle that's a great added feature these straps i also thought were gonna be some sort of synthetic material but they are Although it appears to be a chrome tan leather, which is a bit cheaper, it's still like a leather straps, which um, is a nice touch. Um, the GeoBasket tongue on this is also a little bit shorter than normal GeoBasket tongues. I don't know why that is. I guess it's just how they were able to fit it into the shoe. Um, so some of the elements of the shoe that are obvious references to the rest of the season would be uh, just the reference to constructivism being, of course, these tactical buckles on the top, these straps, uh, this heavy-duty lug sole. Um, this shoe is also very reminiscent of like a Timberland, I would say, especially the uh, women's pairs that I'll put up on the screen came in um, this essentially like a Nubuck brown uh, suede colorway that was essentially, yeah, just like a Rick Tim. So that's kind of like the main thing. Again, just tying again into the ideas that came with Babel. So as far as pricing on this shoe, I believe the retail is over 800 US dollars, um, which is pretty crazy. I mean, especially, I would say it's a little bit more justified by the fact that it does have a metal buckle, not a plastic, and there is that cork insole. But I ended up paying around 50% off when I bought it at the Rig flagship store in Los Angeles. I believe they went even lower than that on some sites. Um, and then secondhand, you can pick up at least the black pairs, you can pick up for very cheap. The white pairs are a little bit more rare and those um, tend to, again, sit around like $400. I would say that's a justifiable price. I think the shoe's gonna last me a long time now that I have a heel tap on the bottom, just because the upper is super durable. Um, and overall, they're just really comfortable shoes that I got a lot of use out of. Um, I think this is like a lot of other Birkenstocks for Rick, where they were initially kind of trashed. A lot of people say like the Rotter Hiker was a mistake, um, but I would say it's already proven to have grown on a lot of people compared to uh, what I would s assume are like complete failed collaborations like the Hood Rubber Collab, where those shoes aren't desired by anybody nobody really likes them and nobody really even knew they came out. Whereas these, they got a decent amount of buzz. They were a main staple on the runway, pretty much every model is wearing them. And I think that they've grown on a lot of people. Um, how I style these, I've talked about a little bit before, but I mostly wear them with larger pants, um, covering up most of them, using it mostly just as like a chunky white boot. I just think it works great for that. Kind of fits what I need um, in my rotation as far as that goes. So now I'll just show you uh, some different outfits uh, with the shoes on feet. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments about things I can improve on my channel. Um, I'm done with school, finally. Um, so hopefully I can get up to uploading more stuff. I think in my next video, I'll probably cover this tee I bought um, and the other stuff I picked up from the Spring, spring Summer 2020 collection. Uh, hopefully we'll be, we'll be able to visit the LA store again um, in late July. Um, so I might wait till then um, to do a, like a final kind of haul for this season. 
Uh, otherwise, I'll cover the women's part of the performance collection, hopefully this time with fixed video. Um, and in general, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you.